So after racking our brains, Wesley and I actually don't know Jack. Don't know a Jack that I know of. Know a lot of Johns. Yeah, I know a few Johns, but don't know any Jacks. It's all right though. Oh goodness gracious! Man, I'm like craving a snack right now, man. I could really go for a that's, snack. That's why I cracked open my um, my delicious spicy treats. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm craving. I'm not craving spicy. I'm craving salty right now. Like I want to go crack open that. Uh, uh no pretzels. Are there, are there any other chips? In, you know, oh, I've got a bunch of chips. I've got. I've got jalapeno chips, I've got red hot chips, and I've got, uh, I've got cheddar horseradish chips, which I really, that's what I want to march on, is some of those chips. No problem. Ah. I don't know. I'll actually let that gold go, because I'm going to end up dying again. You're still doing decent on gold. Like, yeah, that's what I said, I got, like, what is it, 13 grand? Yeah, 13 grand. So, yeah, you're alright. I'll be fine. How about that? <laughs> and of course, uh, what? We're all man, this thing. Oh yeah, the friggin' northern. Holy crap! Just, uh, oh, I'm fine. Oh, oh, oh god, I'm fine. Uh, uh, I think it's where you to get it out of my system. Oh god. Did a brony come up with this particular thing? Because it's literally dragons puking rainbows. I get that it's a reference to the. Excuse me, the. uh you know, the Northern Lights. Like, I get that. The Aurora but... Borealis. Yes. Did you know there are Southern Lights? Mm -hmm. All all the Northern Lights and Southern Lights are, are just the uh, visible electromagnetic field around, you know, the poles of the Earth. Yeah, I mean, I had a feeling if it was, you know... Whoa, 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 if, whoa, man, whoa. If we have Northern Lights, I <sighs> believe that, you know, I'd... We had southern lights, though. It's funny, no one talks about the southern lights because nobody wants to go to Antarctica. Yeah, but people want to go to the North Pole? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I would not be opposed to going to Alaska and seeing that one time. Oh, yeah, dude, that'd be awesome. I've always, like, that's actually. I'd love to go to Alaska. That's always been, like, one of my dream vacations is to go to Alaska. Yeah, dude. Like, comment, subscribe, or just like, you know, comment, be like, hey, yo, got new Alaskan viewers. Yeah. And there's your good question of the day, your dream vacation. Oh, man. I don't even know. I figured yours would be like Japan or something. I mean, yeah, that'd be great to get out there. Oh, yeah, they can be a shield now. More than just a shield. It slices. It dices. Hey, makes French fries in thirty different. Whoops. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Did you know that they're heroes in the half show? Yeah. Turtle power. That's what I've always been under. Not to be confused with white power, which is something that I'm not gonna just even continue talking about. I was about. gonna say you kind of just threw that out there, man. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna like hot shower, hot shower. <laughs> yeah, turn it into a South Park reference. That'll yeah. save it, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, gosh. that gym up there, you can actually like dive and bounce off that wall dirt, which is another challenge. Oh crap, these mothers. No one. Not even worth it. <laughs> Not even gonna. These Norsemen. Oh my god. And they're like, haha, look at my wrenches! My, what are those hammers? Yeah, those are hammers. <laughs> ah. Oh goodness! Let me eat my wall chicken. Even though, like, the one that uh, has the helmet on that was chucking the spear at you, he, uh. He made me think of Captain Caveman, because his whole body's just pure beard. Captain Caveman! Oh goodness! Who remembers that? I the do. Good old classic cartoons. Cartoon cartoons. <laughs> Dexter's whoa, Lab, whoa, whoa. Johnny Bravo, I am Weasel, Cow and Chicken. I am Weasel. I are Baboon. 
Uh, whoa. Speaking of old cartoons, here's an interesting fact. Though I know a lot of people know this one. Uh, I can't. The name escapes me, so forgive me for that. But the original voice actor for Bugs Bunny, way back when, was allergic to carrots. That is hilarious. Mm, really ironic. Are you laughing at his ailment? No. It's ironic. Yeah. Like. And you know what else it is? Um. It's like rain on your wedding day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we not making Alanis Morissette uh, references here? No. I thought that too, but I didn't do that. Oh. oh. And see, thanks. There you go. There's a specific situation for you. Yeah. What was you saying thanks for? Um, I don't know. I don't remember what I was going to say. Okay. <laughs> what, what were we talking about? Uh, irony and Bugs Bunny's voice actor being allergic um, to carrots. Oh, yeah, I actually did hear a story about his, um, he was in a coma for a while, that voice actor. And they tried, you know, obviously talking to him and, the, like, squeeze my hand if you can hear me type of deal. Oh, yeah. Which is, you know, terrible. It's sad. But they would talk to him in character. And, like, say, like, talk to him like he was Bugs Bunny. And he responded in character. Huh. I remember, I forgot where I heard, heard that story, but I remember hearing it somewhere. It was probably like, I don't know. It was some. Mel Blanc was his name. The man of a thousand voices. That's cool. He probably did a bunch of voice acting for, uh. They, well, they called him for, the man for, of a thousand I mean, voices. For Looney Tunes, I mean, for that show. Maybe. I mean, with a name like that, you know, come on. We'll see here. You get my phase locket. Voice work is Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Big, Pig. Porky Big, huh? <laughs> Tweety Bird, Sylvester the Cat, Yosemite Sam, Foghorn oh. Leghorn, Marvin the Martian, Pepe Le Pew, Speedy Gonzalez, Wile E. Coyote, The Road Runner, The Tasmanian Devil, and many other ones. So this dude was the entire cartoon, it was the entire Looney Tunes show, apparently. Holy crap, dude. Yeah. I did not know that. No. I always like Marvin Marson. <laughs> you are making me so angry. That was a horrible impression, but that's like the best I can do. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Ah, these guys. Oh, they drive me bonkers. Oh, they get me right. Oh, oh no, oh no, they just drive me crazy. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to check something. He was. He also was the voice of Barney Rubble and Mr. Spacely. Whoa. Woody Woodpecker provided vocal effects for Tom and Jerry. Cartoons directed by Chuck Jones. Dude, holy crap, man. Yep. What was his name? Mike? Matt? Blanc? Mel, Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc. Wow, that looked like a distinguished gentleman. Yes, the picture on here is very oh. flattering of him. So, my old friend. The day has finally come. This will be our final duel. Should we not lay down our shovels and part as equals? Hmm. The order has no equals. Surely you can recognize the power. So this... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> this fight is actually... Um, this fight is one of the more uh, pain in the rear end fights of the game. Post pain, Russell. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> Hashtag post pains. I'm still like going into all this. It's because of that right there. Spikes everywhere. Wow. You're still just reading about it? Yeah. Why not? They actually have a big piece of the article here about uh, the coma thing you were talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They actually would talk to the different characters. Nice. I did it. I actually made him look like a bag of shit. <laughs> they he said right here, they would ask, how are you feeling today, Bugs Bunny? And he would answer in a weak voice, eh, just fine, Doc. And then they'd say... Dude, that's crazy. Then they asked Tweety if he was there, too, and he'd say, I thought I thought a putty cat. That is nuts, man. It's just how the brain works. Yeah. How old was he? Oh. Um, wow, that, that was an old picture of him. He lived... He was 81. 81. He died in 89. 
July 10th, 1989. Wow. You are a year, not even a year old. Alright, so here I believe is the last fight from the, uh, I forgot what they're called, like the Wanderers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call them the Wandering Travelers, only because that's, uh... Why not? It's redundant. <laughs> What's his name? Phantom Striker. I like this guy. He's a fencer. Let's... Fun fact, fencing is cool. Oh, yeah. Definitely more precise of a thing as opposed to, um... Oh, goodness. It's about to be names. He even did all the different uh, Looney Tunes voices for Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Are you... Wow. That is cool. That's like the last thing he did. That's nuts. Now we gotta watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, I've got it over there on the shelf on Blu-ray. I enjoy that movie. Fantastic film. <laughs> That movie right there is probably one of the single biggest reasons why a lot of people of my generation like redheads. Because of Jessica Rabbit. Seriously? You cheapskate? <laughs> you turn into a few one... I guess I got it the other way. Apparently. Okay, <laughs> I gotta jump. Okay. Oh. Yeah, remember. See, <laughs> my bad. The side of the screens are cut off. Alright, so we can't do this, so how about I just take an extra long trip, and yeah. we just may cut this episode just a little bit early. Yeah. Uh, just for uh, a little cutting, editing sake. Ooh, 28 of 46, that's over half of them. Yep, and we've got 21 grand. So Doing could, all right. We could definitely get that last magic upgrade. Yep. What else do we need to buy besides the armor? Uh, you got all of the, uh, weapon upgrades? <clears throat> no, no. So you're still missing the, uh, one that sends out that shockwave attack if you're at full health. Yeah, that's the only one. I'd rather that over the armor first off. Yeah. I mean, that's just me, though. Oh, Master Shoveler. Now I got that cool shockwave. It's like the sword beam. In, in some Zelda games. Kind of like a nice little Zelda reference there. But I believe that's, I mean, I'm, I believe we're staying up to date with uh, everything we need to do. And um, I do up. I do need to get another potion. i -core. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> that noise. What noise? <laughs> oh, that noise. <laughs> like oh. spitting noise. Jeez. And of course, us living in the South, I just immediately get a mental image of the Trapple King with like a big, hunking wad of chewing tobacco in his lip. <laughs> That's what you're drinking. But it gives you life. Yeah, it's pretty I disgusting. I feel like we're, mess we're missing stuff. We're mi what's the stuff? We're missing the gear from Tinker Knight. The propeller dagger. And you didn't get a thing in uh, Polar Knight. I missed it! It was the Warhorn. You'll have to like go down into the basement of that one place in here in this village. Aw, oh, that sucks. That that one is one that I always miss. Yeah, I think I oh. actually missed that one on one of my playthroughs. Ironically, not it's my first It's probably somewhere one. obvious, and I've gotten it before, but it's yeah. like... Are you sure it's going to be here? Should be. There yeah. it is. It takes 20. 20 magic to but, use. But it's one of those screen wipers. Not really a screen wiper, but the, I know you get a, uh, a feat if you can defeat five enemies at once with that form. Huh. I do know that. There's probably like one or two specific areas of the game where you can do that relatively easily. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, anyway, I guess we're done piddling around. So, um, I've, I've had enough piddle time. Coming up next, will I it be? I wish we could check the, the scrolls because I could do it on there. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. But we actually mowed through a good bit of this game. The whole entire middle chunk. Yeah, and one... So, one this was the first recording session, and now we've taken care of all of this. Plus Polar Knight. Yeah. That's, oh, he's on screen. Yeah. All that's left... Tanker Knight, Propeller Knight, 
Then the, we're on to the Enchantress. Flip the Tower of Fate. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time. We'll see you guys. Join us again.